Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning and happy birthday. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. I think we're going to do a Celtic cross. Sometimes I need organization, Piscianos. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I do. All right, yes, let's do that. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? Oopsie. Almost there. Alrighty. And I do have the Nine of Wands at the bottom. <coughs> Five of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Can I tell you what I'm getting here, Pisces? Like this is, an, this is channeling, this is looking at the pictures and getting an, a, a message. Um, I feel like there's definitely some people that are probably trying to communicate with you. They're trying to talk with you. They want to have like a, a better relationship with you. They, I think it's more so you, Pisces, that you're not willing to give them the time of day or you're not willing. It's like you forgive, but you don't forget. And that's the feeling that I'm getting. You forgive, but you don't forget. So it's like you're not giving them the time that you used to give them. I feel like they, they feel and I'm gonna go deeper, like they come in peace, like they wanna rectify things, like they want to make things better. But I feel you in that Five of Cups energy, kind of like, I see you, I, I see that you you might be sorry, I see that you're trying to maybe give me a call, you know, come hang out, but I'm just not the same anymore. That's the feeling that I'm getting from you. Like, I, I'm just not the same anymore. Maybe you won't wanna be around me. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. And I don't know why you feel that way, Pisces. I think it's because maybe maybe this person has pushed you. Maybe these people have pushed you. And I feel you turning your back on them. Five of Cups is all about, you know, the past, like looking at the past stuff. And it came out first, Pisces. Maybe there's a part of you that won't let go of it. Or maybe there's a part of you that just learned from it. That could be it too. You learn and you grew from it. So now, and I don't know who this Queen of Cups is, we're gonna go a little bit deeper, but there is definitely somebody that wants to talk to you, maybe that you know wants to make things better or make things right, a form of communication, like they got their stuff right. But we'll, we'll go a little bit deeper into that. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right, your strength is the star, Pisces. The star is all about miracles, it's all about making things happen, creating something out of nothing. You know, that's the feeling here, Pisces. This is your strength. This is one of your abilities, manifestation, creating miracles. You know, um, you see miracles in your life very often. It's something that's been embedded in you since maybe you were little, Pisces. Things that most people won't see happen on a regular, you do. Miracles are very, it's nothing new to you. You see it all the time. You know how people sometimes shrug it off like, oh, it just happened. No, that was a miracle. And you know it was a miracle. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Miracles happen to you all the time. It's one of your strengths to call on God and create a miracle for yourself. <clears throat> all right. In the past, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is telling me, Pisces, that you found some type of creative outlet. You might have found some type of, uh, some type of business, creative outlet, um, some type of finance. This also could be you know, a new person as well, I don't know. But it's something that is moving slowly in your life, but you found something. And I'm kind of excited to see this. Like it's something here. There is something that you look forward to. There is something that you look towards to. And we'll get a little deeper into that. All right, the nine of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> what is going on at night, Pisces? 
This is like in your headspace. This is your focus. Maybe you guys are trying to focus on getting the right amount of sleep, getting better sleep. I know there was something about Pisces, like your REM sleep that I was feeling the other day. Like, are you, are you, are you like a light sleeper or are you like a heavy sleeper? You know, that makes a difference, especially for us Piscianos. Like we need our sleep. You know, and a lot of times we can't shut it off because we're too busy feeling, you know, everything that we in, in took from others. And it's like, you know, it, 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 it doesn't allow us to fall to sleep, stay asleep. Some of you might be going through some type of nightmares, some type of repetitive dreams that I'm feeling here. So this is something that you're, you're having, oh, I love you guys. The world is what the world is, yes. And it's terrible and it is sad. Um, but I feel you here, Pisces, like developing your own skills and your own abilities and your own understanding. Like, why am I dreaming this? Why is this happening? Like you're in your world right now, your world, Pisces. You are the center of your universe. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. And you want to understand why you, you have a dream of a pig with money, with money bags. I don't know. You know, something like that, like a, a strange, crazy dream. You want to you want to understand it. You want to go deeper into your psyche. That's what I'm feeling there, Pisces. All right, your future, we have the Ace of Cups in the reversal. This could be cutting off communication. This could be some type of, you know, somebody let you down. And yeah, I feel something like somebody let you down and it might feel like you need to cut off communication, but we will go deeper into that. All right, we got your, yourself, Pisces, Two of Pentacles. I feel like sometimes it's really hard for you to to interact with people because I was feeling that here. Like it's kind of hard for you to interact with people because I don't know, you're in your own place, Pisces. You're on your own level. You're on your, your own little world, you know, and maybe you don't like what you see happening in the world. Maybe you're feeling it, Pisces. That could be it too. There's a lot of sadness. I know I can I can share that emotion. You know, there's a lot happening. There's something that I saw that I wish I didn't see you know, with the whole war, like I, I don't normally watch the TV, but you know, my boyfriend does. And so I saw something that I shouldn't have seen. It's just not good for me, you know, and I have been feeling it, you know, and it, it is heavy for me as well. So I feel Pisces that it, sometimes it's really hard for you to, you know, juggle both worlds, you know, like to kind of, you know, um, live in the space where you know that if you, you're inside of yourself, you can create the world you want to and then the world that's outside of you because you feel it, you pick it up, you know, and that's what I'm feeling here. You're picking up all these, you know, energies around you, all this trauma, all this um, sadness that's going on. We'll go deeper into that. In your environment, environment, we have the Knight of Wands. You have a lot of people that you can't rely on, you can't count on. And you might be okay with them at the moment, but you already know something, t something told you. And this might be why Pisces, you're like, you know, I, I, I forgive you, but I don't forget. You know, this might be why you're in that energy Pisces. Cause you, you know, this person can't be consistent. You know that sooner or later, this person is just going to show their true colors or something like that. That's the energy that I'm getting, you know? So this makes a lot of sense Pisces why you know, you don't want to. Maybe you're not in a place of communicating with people, of accepting of the apologies. I feel you in a place of peace, definitely. Like, okay, we're gonna keep the peace, but I already, I, I got you. Like, I already see who you are. I really, un I really understand, you know, that you could be fair weather. Like one minute you're here, one minute you're not. And that's the energy there. <clears throat> Hopes and fears, the moon. This is Pisces energy. It's in the reverse your hopes and fears, people not understanding you, you know, maybe not, maybe, you know what, Pisces, it's the feeling almost like you're so different and you're so unique and your thoughts and your feelings are not like everyone else that you, like anyone else that you've seen around you. And you're scared sometimes that you're going to push people away. You know, but you also want to be your most authentic self, your truest self. So your spirit, it needs to come out. You need to be able to say how you feel, you know, get your emotions out there, you know, wear your heart on your sleeves, you know. But yeah, I guess there's a fear of being rejected for the feelings and thoughts that you do have. Oh, wow. That's a big one, Pisces. I, I love that. You know, 
the people that are meant to be around you will be around you, Pisces. Don't ever be afraid of letting out how you feel. You know, that's going to, yes, it's going to scare people away 100%. It's going to turn people away. But you're, it, the only person that needs to care about your life is you. The only person that needs to be happy in your life is you. So that's what I'm feeling there. The outcome is the Page of Cups. I feel, Pisces, that the more that you dig deep, the more that you know, you understand that these people that might be around you might be fair weather, might be inconsistent. You know, in one moment they're fine, the next minute they're not. You know, the more that you understand these things and you just keep going deeper into your subconscious, into your spirit, into your mind space, into your, your world, I feel like the happier you're going to be. Page of Cups to me is all about um, like listening to your intuition, listening to your guides, finding them. You know, I feel like you're going to find some new spirit guides along the way. You're not going to be alone, Pisces. So if you feel like the outside world, people are just not, you know, for you or understanding you, <clears throat> the inside world is about to get real deep. So there is going to be another spirit guide that just came to meet Pisces that you're going to meet along the way. It could be like a spirit animal as well, but you will meet a new one. All right, let's clarify. Ooh, that was heavy emotions, Pisces. It's like you're just not fitting, right? Like you just don't fit anywhere. That's the feeling that I get. You don't fit. I don't think you were made to fit, Pisces. You were made to stand out. You were made to stand out. Your inner world is a lot, I'm not going to say more entertaining, but I say more real than the outside world, believe it or not. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Ten of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> Give me one moment. You know what, Pisces? You have two paths, I feel like, that you can pick. I definitely feel that. Um, you can go deeper into the night, <laughs> into that inside world, Pisces. And you can find things and spirits and, you know, spirit guides and God and all those beautiful things that you want to find. Or you can turn your back, you can turn around, Pisces, and you can look at that person that's being inconsistent, I'm sorry, you know, um, and it, it, that's what it says about the person, Knight of Wands in reverse. And you could turn back and maybe live a happy life, maybe for a moment, you know, but I feel you, Pisces. It's like next thing you know, you're just going to be sad again because you didn't go deep. You didn't go deep and you didn't let out that subconscious. You didn't let out like those other feelings and people that I feel like are in there. There's more people in there, Pisces. There's more people that want to communicate with you. And I feel like you're, you're willing to go deep. You want to go deep. So I feel like the fact that the five of cups came out first, I feel like spirit is saying, go deeper, Pisces. Go deeper. Yes, you can have it all here on the earth, like the, the Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, but there's more to you. There's a di different layer, a different dimension of you, Pisces. There might be other dimensions at play here too, which I'm not getting yet completely, but I'm feeling other dimensions. Spirit, tell me more about the star. <clears throat> the Five of Swords. A lot of people have tried to take from you, steal from you, um, assault you is what I just got. Like you got assaulted, Pisces. And I feel like you still came out shining at the end of the day because this is one of your strengths, Pisces. No one can hurt you. No one can beat you. No one's going to you know, make you stay down on the ground. You may get down for a minute. I always say it when you're on the floor. You may lay down for a minute, but you get the fuck back up. Why? Because you are a miracle worker. You are a miracle person. You were meant to walk on this earth with your head held high and create miracles for other people. That is one of your gifts. That is one of your strengths. So that's why they can't knock you down, Pisces, and you can't stay down for long. Spirit, tell me more about the king of the knight of pentacles. Wow, there's that five of cups again, Pisces. In one moment. Five of cups, I'm telling you, there's something big about the five of cups. It's like you cho You may have to pick a path where it's like you're solo and you know it. I'm not saying there's no one around you in your life. I feel people around you. But I feel like you put them in a mind, like in your mind, it's like this is as far as you're going to go with your connection with me. That's the way I'm feeling it. 
You might still be able to have it all surface level with that 10 of cups. I definitely feel that. But there's more to you. There's another layer. There's another dimension of you. Your layers got layers. There was an, that wasn't a song. Your layers got layers. And you want to uncover it. I feel that with the moon card there. You want to uncover it. You want to see yourself as the divine being and the soul that you really are and not just this human form. Give me one moment, Pisces. There's something about the past, Pisces, that you want to shed more light to. <clears throat> you want to bring it to the forefront. That's the energy that I'm getting here. I think you did already because it is in your past. You may have found some type of strength from your past. And I'm not really sure what that means, Pisces, but I feel like you found some type of strength from your past. All right, let's get into the Nine of Swords. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's trying to battle you in your dreams. That's what I'm feeling here, Pisces. There is some type of battle in your dreams. I feel like there is some type of negative force that's trying to get to you in your subconscious, Pisces. So that way, maybe you don't produce the kingdom that you want to produce. Maybe you don't get the organization. Maybe you don't get to that other dimension, that other layer of yourself. This is very spiritual, Pisces. This is very spiritual. It's like there's another that you can go so deep, Pisces, only like you can go only like a fish can go, Pisces. And there's someone that sees you and sees how far you can go and they're trying to block you and i feel like they're doing it through your dreams at night maybe creating some sort of fear but we know about fear have no fear god is here you know what i mean that's the feeling that i'm getting pisces have no fear god is here remember whenever you start overthinking wherever you start getting anxiety those are things from the enemy to try to make you not go as deep as you can go pisces Find the strength to go deep within yourself to find this other spirit guide or these other dimensions or these this other place, Pisces, that I know you can, you're going to get something deep in that shit. I'm telling you, Pisces, you, you're right to turn your back on all these people. And again, I'm not saying there's no one around you. It's more so like, yeah, at arm's length, I'm busy. I'm busy going inward. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Spirit, tell me more about this Ace of Cups. The justice. I, th I just heard, Pisces, someone's going, people will regret ever making you emotionally unstable or unhappy. There will be some form of justice, Pisces. There will be. So it, even if this is you with some type of sadness later on in the future, I feel like there will be some type of justice. Again, everything of yours is always rectified, Pisces. That's what I'm getting here. Everything that you do is always rectified. Give me one moment. There's something else. I feel a heavy energy of a spirit guide, Pisces. I do. If someone tries to take you to court, if someone tries to like, it, you know, say to you, oh, I'm going to take you to court. Oh, I'm going to sue you for this. Da, 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 da. You know, I feel like there's someone that's going to step in. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. They might have already stepped in Pisces, but I feel like somebody's about to step in. You're about to meet another spirit guide. I kept seeing that and I'm seeing that again. It makes sense to me why you're going so you feel it. You feel a connection to go within. You feel a connection to analyze your dreams, to analyze what all this means. Why are you feeling the way you're feeling? Because you sense someone else coming. You know you're being divinely guided, Pisces. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Sometimes it is a challenge for you to hear the people on the outside and then hear the people on the inside. I can feel that here. It's like a challenge for you. Um, I don't really have any advice here for that, Pisces. I just feel like you're, this is what it is. That's the feeling. It is what it is, Pisces. You're going to have to. We still are here, Pisces. So we have to learn how to walk here. We still got to learn how to be here. You know, so it's like, but you also have to really 
go within and really go freaking deep, Pisces. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Go within and go really deep because there's some there's something waiting for you. There's something very magical that's about to happen the deeper that you go into your subconscious and let all that shit out. What are you doing, like hypnotherapy or something? That's what I'm kind of getting here, like some type of hypnotherapy or you're about to do hypnotherapy. Your past life, you're going deep, Pisces. I can feel it. Like it's like a, a past, past life regression, I guess. Some of you, this might be a message to do some type of hypnotherapy. Sometimes we need to know who we were in order to understand who we are. Spirit, tell me more about the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Again, fighting the urges, Pisces. There are people around you that they want to offer you, you know, sex, a good time, fun. And we're all about that too, Pisces. We are all about that. I feel like Spirit's saying you can have it all. You can balance both of the worlds. You can have the outside world, even though you made a mental, mental note. This person can only reach this level with me because I understand that at any moment, this person can either betray me or something else. There's a weird feeling here. Doesn't have to be a lover. Absolutely could be a lover, but it doesn't have to be. But it's like you, you understand people and their capacities. And you've accepted them, but you made mental notes about them. Give me one moment. Yes, this person wants to offer you a good time. This person wants to have fun with you. And you know what? You deserve to have the fun. You do have the Ten of Cups here, Pisces. I see you accomplishing everything in both worlds. That's basically what I'm feeling here. You're going to accomplish everything in both worlds. Most people are trying to balance the one world and then they forget about the other world. Not you, Pisces. You're doing both. That's what I get here. Spirit, tell me more about the moon. Knight of Pentacles again. More attention. Give me one moment. More attention to the, your insides, to your spirit world. So this might be going out to certain people that don't pay attention to it because they're too busy, I don't know, making money, you know, taking care of kids, whatever it is that you do. Go more attention. Because the spirit world is where I feel, Pisces, everything will happen for you. You will manifest the reality that you want to create. Give me one moment. I keep feeling, Pisces, you're going to manage both worlds perfectly, especially with the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands. There's going to be all these new like um, beginnings, these new outcomes, new creativity, new knowledge that's about to be dropped, new clarity, new understanding. Everything is the, the way I feel it. Everything will be new to you. You're going to see things happen the deeper that you go into your mind space, Pisces into battling these negative energies that are trying to keep you away from opening that door, the third door deep inside. I think there's a book like that, the third door. Maybe you need to read it. I don't know. But you need to go deep. Because going into through that door, going into your subconscious, analyzing what it is that you're seeing and feeling is what's going to create the reality that you want. It's, that's what's going to give you the ten of cups that you want on the outside world. You're going to have it all, Pisces, is what I feel. Spirit, tell me more about this page of cups. Wow. And then you're battling it again with the moon card at the bottom. I see this, Pisces. It's never going to be a clear road to the spirit world and a clear road here in the physical. Never, ever. But you have the power to go and manage both. And right now I feel a heavy emphasis in your dream state, in your dream world, you know, battling these, you know, demonic things, these, you know, uh, people that are trying to attack you, you know, it's like, but you're going to win. You know why? Because you were made for this. This is who you are as a Pisciano. This is who you are. You can't get, get attacked spiritually. You can't get attacked spirit uh, physically. You got too much happening in both worlds, Pisces. Learn how to balance it. Learn to get some clarity with both of them. But most definitely, I feel the energy of going deeper. Give me one moment. 
Yes, definitely the outcome Pisces is going to be a heavy emphasis in your dream state, in your, intuitu in your intuitive state, the thoughts that come to you and why. Listen to yourself. Stop listening to the people on the outside of you. Listen to yourself. You're not telling, you're, these other spirit guides are not telling you things just for no reason. They're trying to help you. They're your friends. The outcome, Pisces, is this is what you were made to do. Balance both worlds, Pisces. So get some clarity and understanding that this is who you are. All right, Pisces, very deep reading. I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.